Plus, uh, the Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be reviewing Your Mushi Pedal Grand Road Episode 9 of the glorious second season. If you don't know what Your Mushi Pedal is, I recommend you check out my spoiler free review of season 1 in the description below because it's a great anime. However, this video will contain spoilers because I will be discussing and analyzing the events that occurred in the episode. So, if you have not watched it yet, go ahead and check it out at crunchyroll.com backslash your peta and come back to this video when you're done. With all that out of the way, let's begin. Alright, so this episode had a lot of bits of actions, but a lot of kind of setup and backstory to one of the main characters of this episode, Machi Mia, and our main antagonist for what seems is this third day of the inter eye. So all the information that we've been given so far is that Machimiya is a con artist and a dick. That's that's pretty much it. That's all that we got so far. However, there's a lot more than what meets the eye to Machimiya. He is a con artist and he does do a ton of bad things. However, he is actually a very strong uh, road racer. And that's what we saw in this episode, and honestly, I was really surprised. I mean, the man is an A-class sprinter, he has a lot of fight, he has a lot of power, and one of the main things that got to me in this episode is that he really reminded me of Arikita, but Arikita in his past, and that was kind of the cliffhanger that we were left off in this episode. Now, before we discuss more about Machimiya, let's just get the situation set in our minds. So, currently... We have the lead pack, which is Kyoto Fushima, Sohoku, and Hakugake Academy, or Hakane Academy, which is Shinkai and Fukutomi. We have Imazumi and Kinjo, and we have Idsaji, I think that's his name, and Mirosuji in the lead pack. And pretty much everyone is trying to catch up to them. Well, not necessarily everyone. The whole pack, we already know, has kind of given up on the situation. So the only real competitors we have left is Hiroshima, Hakone Academy, and Sohoku. We're not quite sure if Kyoto Fushima's other uh, players are still trying to catch up because they were in the pack and they we didn't see them break out. But who knows? However, in the last episode, we saw that Arikida Onoda and oh, I just for I always forget his name. And the first year sprinter of Hakone Academy um, broke away from their own team. They broke away from the pack. They passed their own team, and they were pursuing Hiroshima. Now Hiroshima had six character, six players in their team, and they decided to break off into three. And it was two of the third years and one first year and we find out a huge revelation and that there's three different sprinters in Hiroshima and it looks like those are going to be their main contenders heading to the front and the reason that there's three of them and they're not really afraid to leave their other three friends or teammates is because they made a pack or cooperation with Miro Suji from Kyoto Fushima and this was kind of out of the blue because they never really mentioned any of this until now but I can kind of see how it happened because we didn't know anything about Hiroshima until day three so it sort of makes sense and I kind of like how they did that how our antagonist for the first two days is teaming up with our antagonist for the third day and honestly, if they end up meeting up, they're going to be such a huge force that it's going to be almost impossible for anyone to kind of catch up to them because they'll just be gone with five people. As opposed to right now, it looks like if, um, Hakone Academy is only get, going to get Arukita and the first year climber, Manami, just remembered his name, and Sohoku is only going to get Onoda. So right now... The rest of the teammates of Hakone Academy and Sohoku are kind of just taking a backseat. We really don't know if they're going to catch up. And if they do, um, I can kind of see it happening because they do have some strong people left behind. However, right now, the main focus is this three-on-three -three kind of duel that's going on between Arikita and Machimiya. 
And now, of course, they're kind of like the same type of racer. They're both sprinters. They both kind of get crazy when they decide to sprint like crazy. However, we find out that not only Machimiya was an asshole as a con, but he's also an asshole when he races because he headbutted the crap out of Arikita. He headbutted his own teammate and he was trying to push Arikita like straight over the edge. Um, so, Machimiya, he's our MVP for the episode. However, it's because he has this unknown um, racing ability, because I honestly didn't see that coming. I thought he was just a dick and a car artist, but he actually has some fight to him, and I really appreciate that his character wasn't only just a real dick, and of course, his scheming knows no end that he was able to plan with Mido Suji in the first day about the third day, which is honestly crazy if you think about it. But either way, a lot of interesting stuff happened in this episode, mostly backstory and just some kind of action as we have people trying to catch up to the lead pack, which is, in my opinion is taking a very long time. But who knows? Who knows? As they're approaching the feed zone as well, so it doesn't look like the lead pack has reached the feed zone either, so it seems as if everyone else is getting closer to the lead pack as this whole all these events unfold. And I'm really excited to see kind of the teams come together because I I have liked this dynamic of them kind of being alone. However, I would really like to see the teams kind of come together and have just a fight to the finish at the end of this third day. But anyways. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this review of Yomushi Pedal Episode 9. I'm really enjoying the series so far and I cannot wait for the next episode, as always. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one.